Hello fabulous Pisces, welcome to your horoscope for the month of February 2020. I am your astrologer Nadia Shaw, thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is, we have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. It is going to be right around the ninth of the month that we will have this month's full moon. This full moon will be taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life. So whether that is your workplace, the people who surround you there and the type of work you're doing, whether that has to do with your habits and your health related habits in particular, uh, or whether it has to do with the little daily places you visit each and every day, the little rituals that you have, all of that is covered here. Now this full moon is going to be speaking in supreme harmony with Mars and what that suggests is energy, excitement and momentum. It is a full moon which represents things coming to fruition or culmination. So for some of you this may very well be a work related project. It can be a sense of you uh, actually doing what it is that you needed to do for a client or a customer. There may also be a sense of you wanting to move on, empower yourself in some way, especially where it comes to your work. And that means deciding what stays and what goes, whether that's particular environments or possibly particular projects as well. And for that matter, this can be a time when certain projects come to a culmination as well. Now, regardless of what happens, it does look like for you, there's happiness, excitement, there's a sense of momentum as well that this closure actually creates for you. And momentum in and of itself implies new things ahead that you can already see. For others of you out there, this may be a time when you're just busy, like you're just really busy, whether that is work-related busyness, more clients, more customers, or otherwise, it does look like there's more activity happening in your daily life. And for others still, this may be a time when you are more focused on your health and creating positive change in that regard. Again, there's a sense of excitement here. There's a sense of positive change and energy with you now to actually make changes that feel especially empowering. This is not cold turkey energy, big sweeping changes just yet. I'll talk about that in a moment. This is more like you uh, feeling more energy so you realize that you can change your workouts and work out a little bit more or, or you learn about some new workout that seems to uh, help you in terms of how you feel overall. You make some little changes to the way that you eat and you have more energy. These are the types of changes that I'm seeing take place for you now. But the key word here really is that whatever it is that you adjust it does bring with it a sense of freshness and a sense of vitality. Now, as we navigate later into the month, it is right around the 23rd. That is the big event. Well, that is one of the really big events for you. It is going to be a new moon in your sign that is harmoniously connecting with Uranus and Mars both that is going to feel like a fresh start for you, an exciting fresh start. And it will likely feel like luck is on your side at this time. But a week before the new moon, Mercury is gonna go retrograde in your sign as well. So I'm seeing this sense of two steps forward, one step back. The sense of you being excited about your future and starting new things, but at the same time, maybe needing to allow yourself some time to experiment or to consider what worked in the past and what didn't. It may also be a really good time to revisit matters of the past and see them in new ways so that you can implement them in new ways. Now, when there is a new moon in your sign, it brings with it a focus on what matters to you most, what matters to you first, and what you know about yourself to be true. This is an area that speaks to identity. You know, when we say I am, right? What are your words? Well, it is that very definition and those very words that are gonna come into focus now. And so on the one hand, you are redefining yourself. You're figuring out what matters to you and what doesn't. That's the Mercury retrograde. And just when you think you're making progress on something that matters, you may realize like, you know, maybe this doesn't matter that much. Maybe this isn't who I am anymore. And at the same time, you're being encouraged to consider new options and new possibilities. So here's some things to take into consideration. All is not clear at this time. Mercury retrograde in your sign especially, 
And if there ever was anybody who really should not be making hard commitments or signing documents, it really would be you right about now. However, where it is that you are feeling open and excited, where it is that you're looking at things in terms of possibilities and joy, that is when you're tapping into some of the best that this energy can be, especially at that new moon. Where it is that you're willing to explore and experiment and realize that, you know, if you're living, it means that there's more to learn, including about yourself. Well, that is when you work with this energy to your advantage that much more. And so be open, experiment, explore. That's the Mercury retrograde. And at the same time, see what sparks joy. That's the Uranus speaking to the new moon in your sign because what sparks joy, and especially if it's something that was there before and you, you kind of let it stay in the ether or let it take a back seat, well, this is where you connect again to it more deeply and it allows you to make a fresh start that is meaningful to you. Now, where it comes to matters of love, uh, right around the sixth of the month, it is gonna be Venus that leaves your sign as Venus leaves your sign. You know, when Venus is in your sign, it can feel like you're a magnet. It can feel that much easier to attract love into your life and loving moments as well. And so having Venus leave, well, it can feel a little bit like an exhale, but you're not sure how you feel about it. The sense of ease may feel like it has passed, but it is with you always, of course, as the entire cosmos is with you always. Now, with Venus changing signs, moving into a part of the sky that speaks more to self-esteem and self-worth, that is going to be an area that comes into more focus now, where it comes to how it is that you're approaching love. But I will say this, with all that energy happening in your sign, how it is that very often what matters to us most is what's close to the heart. And what's close to the heart is love. It does look like your experience now and who matters to you now is also up for consideration. So if you are open to meeting someone new, I do think you may very well attract experiences into your life now that feel as if they are reminding you or encouraging you to connect with self-love and self-esteem. Whether that is that you're attracting experiences that say and affirm that you deserve to feel good about yourself or whether it is you're attracting experiences that have you realizing that, hey, I deserve to be treated well. I deserve to be treated better. As part of the mystery, it could go either way, but it is ultimately these experiences that connect you to the same conviction of self-love connecting to romantic love. Where it is that you are just starting to date someone, I feel like a big part of this energy this month is going to be about you getting honest with yourself about how you feel about this person. Uh, what part of you is actually drawn to them and whether or not that is a part rooted in self-love or not. And as you navigate forward, just know that your perceptions may change. What you think you want may change. That's the Mercury retrograde in your sign. And so it's a good idea to stay open and see where it is that your own considerations and your own learning facilitated by your attraction to this person take you. And for those of you in an established bond, I do think a lot of the focus is gonna be more on you at this time and what you are wanting to do, what you are wanting to move towards. With Venus uh, leaving your sign, moving into the sign right after yours, you may be feeling especially generous towards your partner in some way, and you may actually be feeling, especially late in the month, that you have to step up financially in some way to contribute more or to share more. Now, regardless of how that energy comes together, know that with all that energy happening in your sign, the Mercury retrograde, the new moon in your sign, it really is what is inspiring you that ultimately is going to fuel a sense of peace within. And you being more peaceful within, well, that is going to be one of the surest things that helps your bond that much more. What I love about this month for you, well, it's the new moon in your sign, of course. I love the energy of it. It is fast moving. It is exciting. 
It's an energy that sparks. It's an energy that inspires, an energy of mind, an energy of insight. And at the same time, it's you seeing yourself differently than you did before, realizing that you're, you know, finishing that sentence, I am. Well, there's a lot more words that come after that statement, I am, more than you'd realized before. And as you get in touch with more expansive ways to define yourself, well, simultaneously, even more pathways, more opportunities, more routes to happiness open up as well. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.